Hey, how's it going? So, how did you find Dub Dub DC? I enjoyed it. There were some nice jokes in there. I liked this one, the woman trying to Apple Pay with her iMac. It was fast paced, more so than last year. I think a lot of people didn't really resonate with the whole music thing. I didn't really resonate with it too much. Last year, there was that standout moment where they announced that Swift would be open sourced and that was a real whoa moment. There wasn't really a moment like that this year, I didn't think. That's not to say that there hasn't been progress. There's been a lot of progress and what we do know is that Apple really care about it. They care about making a difference in the world, making a difference in terms of getting this out there to more people and people from more diverse backgrounds and attracting more developers to the platform. I really resonated with the video at the end. It was a video of um, a group of people from not the archetypal middle-class white male who learnt code when he was seven. Um, not that that's a negative, but that has been the archetypal developer for many years and now they want to switch that up and change it, make it more diverse and that's a good thing. I really resonate with that because I'm not from that archetypal uh, background. I'm just getting into programming now. So I resonated with that strongly. This year it's been all about the code. Even the way that they've advertised it, look at it. It's all about the Swift and you can see it in the typography of the advertising of the promotion of WWDC this year. So we've now got playgrounds on the iPad. And that's great for me as well because I've only got an iMac. I don't have a laptop yet. I wanna get a new MacBook Pro. That brings me to the next topic. But now I can sit down at home with my iPad and play around with the playgrounds and it looks like they spent a lot of time making that so that it's easy to learn programming in a fun way. So on my wish list was to get new MacBook Pros. I've not heard an announcement in regards to that. I know that would do an upgrade. I would love to be able to daisy chain that with this 5K Mac and use this as an extra screen. I really enjoy doing development on my laptop when I'm doing front end web development. I've got a real nice HP laptop. It's a 17 inch screen and I found it difficult to adapt to doing it on a desktop. But anyhow, that's another thing. It feels like we're gonna be building apps that aren't in a silo. They're go going to be able to integrate with the other default apps that come with iOS. The main one right now being the Messages app. Someone brought up a good point on Core Intuition podcast. Uh, they heard somebody mention that, you know, please don't add emoticons to my message that I'm sending about my friend's father who passed away or my friend's dog who's died and I thought that was a very good point. They really went to town on the messaging app. Um, I think it's gonna resonate with more of the younger generation let's be honest. I don't think I'll be using all of the features and the um, that thing where you swipe your finger across it to reveal the text but hey fair play to them they've spruced it up a lot and let's see what we can do with it they've opened up they've opened up siri all being it's basic but it looks like they're just going to test the waters and it will most probably get more complex later on iOS is definitely still the main focus of Apple, which is good for me because I want to make iOS apps. So yeah, I enjoyed the jokes. I liked that bit where they said, yeah, we looked at all the platforms and we could see that 
something was sticking out and they changed it to Mac, Mac OS. You know, I was doing some searches for some images for the thumbnail of this video and I came across these two images of Tim and Craig and I just really liked how the mingling with people and it it shows that it, it brings them within touching distance almost because when they're out there on stage it's like these guys are the grandmasters on the top of the mountain you know what I'm saying it's like they're the monks doing all the Shaolin Kung Fu and we're the students but they've come down from the top of the mountain to mingle just makes them a little more human at least to me anyhow because I'm just I've just arrived here at Apple and so anyway those were that's what I garnered from the experience and I'm looking forward to next year because I'm really going to be knuckling down and learning the programming and so hopefully next year I'll feel even more involved. The next video I want to make is about why I chose iOS and why I've remained within iOS. Until then I hope you got something from this one. Take it easy, catch you next time, peace.